classroom will be a cozy environment for my students and for the right sides of their brains. The left side can wait outside. As the teacher, I will welcome them in a comfortable pair of sweatpants nearly every day, as I will be teaching at an institution that allows this to be a wardrobe staple for teachers, as it has been for me. It will be the belief of this institution that creativity and comfort in clothing should not be restrained by a dress code for anyone, and that will include the teachers. The contents of my closet will not show a lack of authority, though it will help with the camaraderie that I will obtain with my students while still maintaining their respect. My room will be regarded as an idea superhighway, and my students will ponder things together, such as, are words just words? Why do some hold more weight than others? Assuming that I will be placed in an institution that will allow me to redecorate my room to my liking, I will do away with desks to make room for the circle of beanbags that will promote meditating on ideas, comfort within the classroom, and discussion with the rest of the class. All of my students will have journals, which will be written in at the beginning of every class session. It will be encouraged that they will write and said journals with pen, so they can realize that their ideas are not wrong. In the corner will be a Christmas tree, or should I say, holiday bush, so that the holiday can last all year long. I will store my books under said tree, or bush, so that the books will be regarded as gifts, tokens to be treasured. I will also have a menorah, so as not to disregard other religions. And with each new school year, and each new class, additions and subtractions will be made, so that the room will belong to the class, not to the teacher. To begin and end each period, we will play music to ease the tension that is so often associated with the school environment. All in all, my classroom will be a comfortable environment that is conducive to the exchanging of ideas.